Let's see some penguins! Oh my god! Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. She's a chef, top class. <laughs> First class. <laughs> I'm so local now. Look at that. And what is this you're drinking? Ah, mate tea. Oh, Do you mate. say tea? No, no, mate tea, no, mate. Big mistake. <laughs> mate. 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 Mm. <laughs> it's delicious. We need our own cups. Hello. It's, um, My name is Chinchi Moshe. Chinchi Moshe. Chinchi Moshe. Nice. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 244 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We are here in the town of Puerto Madryn in Patagonia, Argentina. Woo! Yes, we spent the last few days here at this nice Airbnb with some chickens and some doggies. <laughs> And our hosts are really friendly too. But let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here in Puerto Madryn. And today we are going to be making our way down the Ruta Nacional 3. And then coming off around here. Oh, hello. So, can you get off my map? Hey, Ava. Coming off around here to make our way across to the Reserve Natural Turistica Punta Tombo. Punta Tombo is another incredibly special place here on the Patagonian coast because it's home to the largest colony of Magellanic penguins in the world. <laughs> super super crazy i'm really excited to see them so we have about 120 miles which is about 200 kilometers to get there and it's already nine o'clock so better hit the road let's go let's do it mm -hmm. okay no, 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 no. thank you thank you see thank you. you so much gracias gracias you. we see you yes yes <laughs> thank you ciao ciao Whee! <laughs> okay. Concentration? Yeah. So we've got a couple of dirt roads in these little suburb areas to get out of. And then we'll be making our way back to the Ruta 3. Yes, and then we have about 100 miles of nice tarmac road. And the last 20 kilometers are dirt road as well. Ah uh, yeah, to get to the uh, to get to Punta Tombo. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, this whole area that we're in now is a brand new suburb of Puerto Madryn. The farmer sold off a large piece of land. It's only six years old. This entire area. So all of these buildings and this whole area is pretty much brand new, and they haven't yet done the roads. As you can see, <laughs> this bay next to Puerto Madryn is famous for seeing the southern right whale. During a lot of the year, this is where they're, they're, they have the young, they're nursing their babies, carving their young. So you, apparently you can see them here off the coast of this town. During the certain times of the year, you can see them literally right off the beach. Not the right season for us. No, we have to come back. <laughs> 
I think we have to do yes, the whole too. trip again in a different time <laughs> of the year to see all the things we haven't seen. We just did a little turn around to stop and have a view. You can see over there a cruise ship. Oh, they say in the season time they have more than 80 cruise ships coming here. Like it's really, really busy town for tourism. Apparently from the high rises along the coast there at the back, you can see the whales just in front of their balconies. Pretty cool place, eh? Yeah, very cool. It's super windy out here on the open plains. This time of year in this region is just every day wind, 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 wind coming down from the Andes Mountains and running across us over to the coast. It's a real crosswind. The wind is quite uncomfortable. And to be honest, it might continue like this all the way down the coast for the next 1,000 miles. Oh my god. We'll see. Awesome, look at that. We've got a giant dinosaur at the entrance of this town, Treleo. And he's coming your way, hurry up! <laughs> <laughs> look at the size of this dinosaur. Oh my goodness. Whoa, look. And we can actually stand underneath it. And this dinosaur actually is here for a reason because this dinosaur represents the skeleton of the largest dinosaur ever discovered was here in this area. Meet the largest dinosaur of the world in Treleo. Cool. Hola. Grande, eh? Grande. So we are just coming into this town here called Gaiman. What's special about this town? Well, you can get a clue here in that under Bienvenidos is written Croeso. Well, Croeso is welcome in Welsh. So Gaiman is actually a town of Welsh origin. They have actually quite a lot of Welsh towns in Argentina. I mean, where we were before, Puerto Madryn, and where we were with the big dinosaur, Treleo, and this place, and many other towns across this region were actually settled by the Welsh in the 1800s. But we decided to uh, come in and have a little stop in this town, Gaiman, because apparently here they have traditional Welsh tea houses. So it's actually very coincidental, actually, because here is a region where you can see whales and people from Wales. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go, the connection is made. There we go. Look at this, it's very historical. This is probably the main street. Oh, maybe this is the Loch Ness there. Oh no, Loch Ness was Scotland, sorry. <laughs> Look at this building. That definitely looks like something out of Wales. It says T. Craig really looks it's like it's been plucked out of the Welsh countryside. Uh, look here, it says Crueso, welcome, and there's a big dragon. <laughs> cool. Oh, nice. Yeah, that is nice. And there's even a Welsh flag on the, uh, on the side of the building. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So we've tried to check out a couple of tea houses in town. They are just serving in the afternoon. They're not open in the morning. But I mean, I suppose it is called afternoon tea, isn't it? <laughs> that makes sense. You can see here another Welsh language name. Yeah, pretty interesting. So no tea and scones for us today then. I think they got a Welsh flag on the way out as well. So we're just leaving Gaiman without a T. <laughs> and so now we are going to be making our way along to our main mission for the day, which is to see a lot of penguins. <laughs> entrance to Punta Tombo. This is also where the Ripio, the dirt road starts. 
So we've got 13 miles to get down to Punta Tombo. Yeah, I think we will stop and let our tire pressure down. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good idea. And let's maybe have that. a small snack as well. And let's have a snack as well. <laughs> <laughs> because it's already... Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. Oh no! Look how deep that was! Oh man! I pulled off to the side, I thought it would be alright, but it's like sand here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hola! Okay. Tres, dos, uno! No! Okay! Okay, uh, uh, Inglaterra, Alemania. Uh, sí. This 20 kilometers. Aquí is uh, okay, but aquí no. <laughs> muchas gracias, muchas gracias. Well, there we go. We get immediately on the dirt road, and I'm just like, oh, okay, there we go. That's it. <sighs> Okay, let's have a little break. I made some pasta two days ago and <laughs> we have still some leftovers. <laughs> so since two days we just eat for lunch and for dinner the same pasta. 500 grams of pasta goes a long way. <laughs> pasta for lunch, pasta for dinner. Woo! Pasta for lunch, pasta for dinner. To make it a little bit more exciting because the spaghetti are cold, we will make a cheese spaghetti roll. <laughs> Like a spring roll. Okay. But different. <laughs> Not sure. I hope everyone is proud of us because we have some fruits. <laughs> and we're also just hiding behind the bike from the wind. Break time over. Yeah, it's time to ride Bumblebee out of this mess that we're in. See if we can get out of here. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. We're going. Beautiful, there we go. Okay, we'll take it nice and easy. Yeah. But it looks like the main part of this road is not that deep. Just the sides we have to avoid. Ah, oh, man, this is, this is quite, actually quite a deep gravel road, to be honest. It's not too great, but maybe I just have to get used to it a little bit. Okay, this bit's a little bit nicer. Yeah. It looks like the tour bus is already returning. <laughs> We're a little bit late, eh? <laughs> yes. A little late to the party. <laughs> okay, this line looks good actually. Yeah. Yeah, this line looks good. But you can't go right or left because... I know, but I got the wind blowing me. Yeah. Got the wind blowing me to the side. Yeah, you can see there's like piles of gravel on the left and on the right. <laughs> We're just on this like narrow strip in the middle. Anyway, it's only 13 miles to reach the penguins. <laughs> yes, let's see some penguins. I've lost my line now. Yeah, I think there's no line. Now it's just gravel all the way. Oh. Yeah, it's a little bit soft. Go. Yeah, just follow the arrows. Oh yeah. We conquered another dirt road. Woo. <laughs> Woo. Oh man. But this one was way, way worse than the other one. Yeah. The gravel on this one. Oh my goodness. It's not that cool. But anyway, we made it. That's good. Yep. There we go. Some of the bikers here. Cool. Bumblebee. <laughs> but you know what is super crazy? That the other biker, he did the gravel road, but with his tire like that. If we think that Bumblebee's tread on the tire is over, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> this one has like zero treads. Yes! <laughs> Pretty crazy. We got our tickets. 
and there's only one thing left to do. See some penguins! There's a guanaco just next to the trail. standing in the middle of the pathway. Wow, there are so many guanaco here. Look at these guys. Incredible. Wow, it's like a giant herd. I think really they're loving it here. <laughs> Just penguin walking here. It's absolutely incredible. The penguins, they are all over the place. And you can see here next to the uh, walking path, they're just chilling out here. <laughs> There are so many of them along this beach. Wow. And you can see them swimming as well. And they look so good in the water, like almost like fish. But as soon as they get back on the beach, they look really like fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> Another amazing spectacle of Patagonia, hey? Wow. Incredible. Long, so a good size space for the penguins to move around and do whatever they do. <laughs> and just be awesome penguins. Yeah. <laughs> Bye-bye beautiful penguin home. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Punta Tombo, penguin paradise. Yeah, it was absolutely amazing. Yeah, I know we'd already seen uh, a smaller penguin colony on the Valdez Peninsula, but the sheer scale of that place was just incredible. Just nests as far as the eyes could see. The beaches were just full of them. It was just Wow, it was really full of penguins. Yes, and we saw some babies as well, some little chicks. Super cute, really, what a place. We've picked a place on iOverlander. It's uh, another petrol station one, hey? Yes, exactly. <laughs> another beautiful petrol station <laughs> stop for the night. Yes, yes, we have to see and uh, yeah, we have to see how we feel and if we can camp there, I don't really know. We will find out. So, but yeah, we have probably another good three hours to ride now. Yeah. And it's already five o'clock. <laughs> oh my God, five o'clock as well. Yes. 
I think we'll be able to make it there before dark. Yes, we will get there. like that's the end of the dirt road. Awesome. Made it! Yeah. Awesome. Happy and alive. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is at the end, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Tire pressure up. I'm just going to pull over over here. All right. Perfect. We're back on the Ruta National 3 now and the wind is back as well. It is not very pleasant. building and I think that is our spot yeah well I'm pretty chilly it's really cold now <laughs> coming like from I don't know nearly 30 degrees to 20 now and yeah. the wind makes it I don't know it feels like 15 degrees or something yeah, it's that wind isn't it it's getting it all in our jackets and everywhere yeah against the wind all oh the time. Oh my god, it's so tough, it's really. There's a neck workout. Oh. All right, I think we'll just fuel up a little bit, shall we? Just to save yeah. us having to do it tomorrow. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Okay. Or otra. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? <laughs> Super, sí. Gracias. Gracias. Uh, mil cincuenta. Yeah. ¿De dónde son ustedes? Uh, oh, Inglaterra, uh, Alemania. Ah, Inglaterra, Alemania. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Chao, chao. Yes, chao. Yeah, they said it was okay. Yes, really friendly. He just said, yeah, no worries. Um, I didn't really understand, but he was smiling and saying yes. Uh, okay. And I think he just said over there. Maybe we can just pitch up between the trees over there. Okay, I'll ride round. Okay. Yeah? Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy and alive and exhausted yeah we made it luckily before sunset it's pretty close to sunset but we're here at this little petrol station and they said it was absolutely fine for us to pitch our tent right right there it was a really really amazing day to see all these penguins walking around and being just in their natural habitat it was absolutely amazing yeah Punta Tombo was super impressive super impressive but now it's time for us to go to bed we did at the end 270 miles it was really windy it was really tough going actually and that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the episode if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below and we will see you next time. We are here in the town of Puerto Madryn in Patagonia, Alaska. Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> Alaska. <laughs> Alaska. <laughs> yes. 